In one of our previous videos on hi-fi systems, which we have linked in the description, we stated that an often overlooked aspect of hi-fi systems are high-quality cables and wires that do the essential job of carrying the signal in maximum fidelity across the whole path of electronics. Even in this era of cord cutters and wireless buffs, the shy and often hidden cables are still the backbone of not only audio but many other systems. In the audio domain, the type and quality of cables dictate how efficiently and precisely the audio signals from the amplifier or AV receiver is carried to the speaker. At Uberpad, we're passionate about high fidelity audio and we love sharing information and knowledge about it. In this video, we're answering a question many of our customers often ask us, which is the best speaker cable for my home theater system? Let's get into it and find out. We have broken this video into two parts. In the first part, we're looking at the cables itself and in the second part, we delve into wire terminals or connectors. Before you look for speaker cables, there are two core questions you must address. First question to ask is how thick is the copper inside the wire? To answer this question, generally, thick gauge oxygen-free copper wire is ideal. Wire thickness is identified by its American wire gauge or AWG number. The lower the gauge number, the thicker the wire. Thicker wire presents less resistance to the current flow and thereby delivers a better performance. For high pass systems, low impedance 4 or 6 ohm speakers and for longer cable lengths, 12 or 14 AWG speaker cables are ideal. For low pass systems, high impedance 8 ohm speakers and for shorter cable lengths, 16, 18 or 20 AWG speaker cables work best. Besides, 16, 18 and 20 AWG gauge wires are cost effective and easy to work with. Second question to ask is, how flexible is the speaker cable and is the quality of the insulation good enough? As cables often go through raceways, conduits, drywalls, all while competing for space with wires from other electronics, flexibility and insulation play a key role in the selection process. Flexible cables are preferred as they weave their way through spaces easily. Cables, especially for audio applications, are prone to RF, that is radio frequency, electromagnetic interference, or simply put, humming or buzzing sound when the speaker system is powered up. A solution to counter this is to use cables with heavy gauge shields. We recommend braided copper shield wires as they offer added protection against interference. Shelling out money for a sound system right down to the cables doesn't tie up loose ends. And that's exactly what we're talking about next, the ends or cable terminations. Puns aside, bare, exposed and unterminated speaker wires are not only visually repulsive but also unsafe and impractical. Open strands from a bare cable can corrode over time and lead to signal degradation, loss of sonic fidelity and is ultimately a perfect recipe for bad sound quality. Also, exposed wires can lead to a short circuit and be hazardous in general. Let's look at the different types of wire and speaker terminals and their place in your sound system. There are four main types of connection tips available for speaker wires. Pin connectors, spade connectors, single banana connectors and dual banana connectors. We recommend using solid copper banana plugs with gold plating for best results. A quick glance at speaker wire terminals. Amplifiers and speakers interface with each other using either spring clips or binding posts. Spring clips are easy to work with. Simply press down on the clip, insert the speaker wire and release the clip. The spring loaded mechanism holds the wire in place. Spring clip terminals can accept only bare wire and pin connectors. Binding posts on the other hand are far more versatile. They provide a solid and secure connection for all the previously mentioned wire terminations. To connect bare wires and pin connectors, unscrew the collar to reveal the hole and insert the wire or the pin. Banana and dual banana plugs connect directly into the hole in the center of the binding post. A spade connector slides around the collar and is secured once you screw the collar back down. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media for more such interesting and informational videos. Thank you for watching.